riding to remember. Hundreds of motorcyclists made their way from Green Valley to Sawarita. Some came with signs, others with shirts, and the rest came to carry the spirit of 18-year-old Tyler Wolfersheim. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Guy Ashley. And I'm Stella Inger. That teen killed in a motorcycle accident last week near Abrego and Continental in Green Valley was laid to rest this morning. But his mother knew this was the way her son needed to be remembered. Now in your sides, Megan Thompson spent time with friends, family and the motorcycle community coming out to ride one last time with one of their own. I think he's smiling from above right now. Lisa Shirillo says she has been feeling her son all around her today. I keep hearing him say, Mom, look at this bike. Mom, look at this bike. And telling me the statistics of all the bikes. She had this idea to grieve her son in the way he would have wanted. I expected maybe 40 to 50 bikes at most. Um, we're hoping to have about 300 when it's all said and done. Tyler's best friend Clayton came to help coordinating the memorial ride, which he says was stressful, but so worth it. Giving him what he wanted has made it a lot easier. Um, I was at his funeral this morning. That was hard, but giving him what he wanted is ultimately what what matters the most. Signs spell out support for Tyler, so-called T-Wolf, while others sported the color of his green Kawasaki bike. The thing is, this is the biker community, though. This is what we do. So a biker goes down and somebody wants to do something, we're all there. You know, and you can see, we're all here from various walks of life, from various clubs. Gregory Cottle helped organize Tucson Riders to be a part of this, and he has started an organization aimed at helping those hurt or the families of those killed in motorcycle accidents. And their support makes grieving a little easier for those who knew Tyler. It definitely does help with the, the process of all of this to know that, you know, that, that he's okay and that he's happy and that he's watching over us all and that he'll be with us for this ride and it's nice. <laughs> the route led riders from the crash site to his home where his mother sat and watched them go by, then to the cemetery where he was laid to rest. And the participants all came from across the state, some even across the country. One woman told Kagan 9 she came from Wisconsin, changing her vacation plans to make sure she could be here today to support Tyler. Megan Thompson, Kagan 9, on your side.